Well, hi everybody, it's David George Brooke, that gratitude guy with another special guest on the Gratitude Podcast interview. The pandemic, we're getting information from people that might be helpful to other people. And today I have my older son, Kyle, Mr. Superstar at the Microsoft Corporation. There's Kyle. And Kyle, welcome to the podcast. Thanks. Thanks for having me. You bet. You bet. So as I said, we're trying to get information to maybe uh, have some things that people hadn't thought about. Uh, and I've got uh, three or four questions for you. So my first question is, what has kind of been your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic personally? Um, well, for me, uh, I've got a pretty good social network and we've been connected remotely for a long time, really, uh, just based on kind of the age that we grew up in. Um, pretty much ever since middle school or high school, we've been connected through things like Facebook Messenger, uh, where we can do video chats, we can constantly be on, on chat systems. Um, I've got my wife and my dogs here that, you know, keep me sane as well. Uh, it, you'd be surprised how refreshing it can be just to, you know, walk outside and go in the backyard with the dogs and, and run around a little bit with them. Um, so all of those things together have really kind of kept me sane. Um, one of the other things I'd say that's been huge for this is uh, the ability to still connect with my employees from home. Mm. Um, if I wasn't able to do that, and if I wasn't uh, in an industry where I was able to do that, or if we weren't able to be kind of creative in the way that we've approached this, uh, I think that would be a pretty major challenge. Yeah, yeah, that's your, you are, are in an industry that works, and it does work in a lot, not all of them, of course, but uh, there's many that uh, the same thing we're on today, Zoom, or WebEx or GoToMeeting or all those are going to really be helping people too. So, so as we, th these are certainly uncertain times, this unprecedented uh, global pandemic that we're going through. Do you find, what do you find you're most grateful for? Has it changed uh, in just your general daily life to now that you were in this uh, soup that we're in, or has it just been the same types of things you're most grateful for? Um, I've always been grateful for my health um, and the health of the people around me that I care about. So that hasn't changed. Um, I think it's, it just creates a little bit more sensitivity to it. Um, you're a little bit more aware of what could happen if somebody were to get sick. Um, you know, you see people that are maybe a degree of, of connection away from you that are suffering um, right now or have contracted COVID. Um, there's, there's a little bit more awareness, I'd say. Uh, yeah. Just being more grateful about being able to wake up and, and not having, you know, the, the scratchy lungs or the scratchy throat or, or things like that. Um, being able to kind of go about your day and, and not feeling like you're being completely wiped out by, by some physical ailments. Yeah. Yeah. And I was talking to you earlier today or texting you about, I think you were doing some yard work and as, as somebody who's always on the go and doing a ton of things and juggling a lot of balls at the same time, very motivated, uh, uh, very hard worker, great work ethic. What tips or thoughts or ideas might you give somebody who's stuck at home in terms of things that they can do now that uh, so many people are housebound? Well, it's, that's a good thing actually for you to ask me because I've, I've been thinking about those kind of things for my employees. Um, mm. You know, I've got about 150 people that would normally be in customer service type of roles where they're interfacing with the public, they're interfacing with employees, other employees of the company. And now they're basically being forced to be removed from that environment um, and have to you know, find ways to stay engaged and keep themselves occupied while they're at home. Right. So one of the things that we've done is, and, and this was, something that I, I coordinated because of my passion around making sure that the healthcare community is staying fully stocked with their supplies, obviously with my wife being a nurse, um, that's very close to me. So what I had um, all of the volunteers who were willing and capable uh, do is actually create masks so that oh, we could wow. donate them back into the healthcare community. And wow. so I would go out to places like Joann's or uh, Michael's or any other local craft store that had the materials necessary, um, gather them all up, uh, parse them into kits basically that could then be used by anybody who has a sewing machine to create, uh, you know, 10, 20, 30 masks, and then uh, either go and pick them up from the individuals and then distribute them, donate them to the local area hospitals. 
or allow them, the, the employees, to select where they wanted to donate them to. Wow, so that's, that's been a really fun way to keep people engaged, you know, help them give back to the community um, and just feel good about themselves and at the end of the day. Yeah, that's neat. And anytime people, I've said it many times before, if you want to help yourself, help other people. And this is a time where I think maybe initially we all felt bad it was going to hurt us, our employees, or our, uh, rather our employment or our jobs or our money or whatever it might be. And then you look around and uh, for most of us, we're pretty fortunate and you want to focus on that, which of course is the same thing I talk about with gratitude too. So uh, last- And there, there's, another, there's another piece to that, if you don't mind mm -hmm. me finishing that part. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great opportunity um, when you're taken out of your daily routine to kind of reassess where you are in your life and mm -hmm. see if there's more things that you want to learn, see if there's kind of a different path that you want to start to go down. Right. Uh, I've already had those kind of conversations with friends, family, employees about, okay, this is a good opportunity where if you want to go and do that class that you otherwise didn't have time to because yeah. you're working, you know, long hours, you're, you're constantly focused on what do I need to do today rather than what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, it's really been a great opportunity for people to take advantage of that. That's true. That's a great point. And I think also mentioned a couple other people I've talked to about how maybe some things on the to-do list were way at the bottom are finally getting handled because you got no choice. You're around home and you can't leave anyway. So you might as well clean up the basement or whatever it might be. So <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's, that's a good point too. Uh, so last question is, do you have what you would kind of call as a quote or a philosophy or sort of a mantra or maybe a mindset that you apply to your life that that maybe is even more applicable now just because of what we're going through or sort of how you run your program if you will um i, I think the probably the the easiest way to think about that and what i've applied to my life for a very long time is be happy with what you have but always strive for more mm, i like that i like that yeah that's uh before your generation, keep your feet on the ground, keep reaching for the stars, Casey Kasem, I think it was. So anyway, interesting, excellent. Well, thank you, my son. I appreciate that. Those are some great tips. And uh, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be sending these videos out, videos out to a lot of people. So I know some people can take advantage of those, some great tips. So thank you so much for being on the podcast. Absolutely, thank you for having me. You bet.